Alienate anyone who's on your side. So you are uh, one of these women guys. So let me ask this. We wanted to do a little game, Hayes and I, because you and good on you are doing a lot of forward momentum, don't mm-hmm. you think? Yeah, that's how. I, that's exactly how I would state so it. So what we want to know, because we don't ever want to be out of touch, is is that bad? We, and let me explain. <laughs> and I'm gonna let Hayes explain. We want to play a game called "Is That Bad," where we tell you just like certain. Things that people either might have done. Let's say that we did these things for just as example. Yeah, a guy did it, and maybe yes. it's one of somebody like us that we. Are you talking about like in your careers as a listers? Yes, that's okay. something like a big Hollywood person might have done, mm-hmm. and people might be afraid to tell them whether the stuff they're doing is okay. Yeah. Right. So, but I they like, sort of know maybe in the back of their minds that like it might not be okay. Or they or they or it's come to their attention now that people other people doing similar things are getting a little bit of heat and they're yes. going like, "Oh, was that not okay? Like is that bad?" So, yeah. if I could just fire one off. Mm-hmm. So, let's say there's a guy and he don't necessarily want to hire women to work. Because when he's doing work, he doesn't really want to be thinking about or having sex. Is that bad? Because it seems uh, like that is a positive thing because you're not treating well, women you're not as them in sexual this situation to be objectified. Right. Yeah. It's really for the good of, of women is what you're saying. Uh, well, uh, you uh, tell well, us. I'm, uh, I'm just asking. Well, is that, that bad if a guy did that? Yes, and here's why. Huh. In in really in reality, men run a lot of industries mm-hmm. and companies, and so yeah. if they didn't hire women, women probably wouldn't have jobs at all. And then where would we be? But okay, but <sighs> I would just. Are say, you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've, I've looked at some numbers. So, okay. Also, I don't necessarily think that boners are a f- woman's problem unless it's like, a, you know, an interpersonal relationship. An but intimate. the guy's trying to do work. I mean, this guy really wants to get his work done. How many I times, mean, isn't that a good thing? Yeah. How many How many people on, on a daily basis are you attracted to? Women. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're putting this on me? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, at my particular office, almost none geez, because there are none there. Are you married? You're and married. and uh, yes, and please don't offend my wife. I'm married to Steffi Graf, and we are so happy. She got right, she so got you, a couple Wimbledons under her belt. I don't think she's worried about me stepping out. Because no, i yeah. But you don't see her every day, so that would affect the. No, we average. don't live together. Well, it's natural for a man to have thoughts about a strange woman walking across the street or what have you, right? That's not a a normal thing. So that is not that's good. As long as you don't open your mouth about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know well, I, I mean? can't. You just look. Oh, at I can't tell my friend. You can, all your thoughts can stay in here. You can think whatever you I want. I can't tell Hayes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you you can. I can tell Hayes? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty good. This is going a lot better than I thought. But I thought everything was going to be so don't bad. Like, but yeah. don't yell it to him like at a bar in front of like a bunch of other women. Well, I got go to do it loud enough so she club. can hear. Go to like a men's club. <laughs> right. Oh, go yes. To, like a cigar lounge. Yeah. No chicks allowed. Or an adventurer's thing or whatever. Isn't oh, there an okay. adventurer's club in Los Angeles where only guys are allowed? I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice. DTLA, they're doing everything down there. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. blowing up. Soho House. Do they let girls do Soho House? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I have something yeah. I want to know. Is that bad? Yeah. Oh, good. Say a guy, he wants to have an assistant, and he hires a girl. He does hire a girl, but he makes her be his wife. Is that bad? Does she... I have a couple of questions in order to answer this. Does she have any say in the situation? She is it consensual marriage? She can say no to the job, so but the job's got benefits, right? Nobody has, of course. It pays very well for that kind of position, but nobody has to take any job, right? But she, but she doesn't know going into taking the job. But she, at some point, she does get coerced into marrying him to keep the job. Yes. By signing the start papers. 
Oh, she doesn't read the start paper. Oh, she's been duped. This is like a like the housing crisis, basically. Well, and one thing we might want to say about this woman is that she maybe has like a felony on her record, so she just can't believe her luck that she's getting a job like this. She's oh. not doesn't really have a lot of employment options. She was maybe picked up outside of jail. Yeah. I can't <laughs> make a judgment on this because it's a consensual situation. Yeah, I know. No, I know. That's why. Is that bad or that's fine? Doesn't it seem like it? Like, it is hiring a woman, which you said was good. You like that. Right? I did Re- say that. If you remember, you liked that. Mm-hmm. I, do, I do remember. <laughs> yep. Well, um, it, it's, it is a, it's a very interesting conundrum mm-hmm. in that she obviously doesn't have a lot of options in her life, and mm-hmm. he's taking advantage of that fact. And it does sound a little bit like a slavery situation, like mm. a forced slavery or a... They're both white. Indentured service. Oh, okay. Okay, right, right. Um, yeah, this guy doesn't really... Do that. Doesn't do the other stuff. How do you guys feel about slavery? What you, what? I'm just curious about like... Just, I'm just, just a color... Me? Of it's gone. The history of it is like... There's so much skewing. Layers. Yeah. And it well is, put. yeah, it is very, um, has so many layers to mm-hmm. it. Don't you feel and that way? And the Civil War was really not about that. No. This oh. is what a lot of people think, but mm-hmm. it's really about states' rights. And it's yeah. just about, like, not, like, just people being allowed to not have to do whatever the other person says. Also, so, can I say something about it? Uh-huh. Calling it the War of Northern Aggression has this really bad rap, but they did start it. And if I could just say, like, that is who's being aggressive. So that's just an accurate statement. Mm-hmm. So know? when Kanye West appropriates the rebel flag, it's not a statement about... Excuse me? He did that? Yeah. If, if he did an- that, that would oh. make me upset, and I don't even know why. I don't but know. But it's how definitely to feel. making me well, mad. Well, I'm, I'm already not thrilled with Kanye Kardashian, if we could call him by his real name. And let's just say she didn't do anything. Do you, are you okay with the stuff that's happening to Bruce Jenner in the media? <sighs> yeah, I'm wondering where you stand on that. That must be a confusing issue for you because you don't know whether to like him or not, probably. Yeah. Well, he, what he chooses to do with his career and et cetera, that's not for me to judge. Mm-hmm. I don't like reality shows. I don't like what they're doing to people. I, I think I saw a woman today talking on the phone on speaker on a new phone. And I was like, she's doing that because she's seen it on the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. So that aside, mm-hmm. I don't think you, it's, she was, they're don't all, you think? yes, mm-hmm. they talk on the phone and that's where everyone gets that idea. Mm-hmm. Talking on the phone. I see everyone doing that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I don't, like whatever happened to, you know, going and meeting the person at a drive-in or mm-hmm. something. I see people getting... There's no drive-ins. That's I see people really... in their kitchens getting water out of the fridge all the time now. Just Where do you think they got that idea? Kardashians. The reality show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the realities. I don't think it's good to out somebody if they have a transgender affiliate association <clears throat> or, you know, if they're gay to say, say the words for them. But... Mm. But at the same time, it sounds like it just felt like there was oh, a butt. Oh, yeah, I had a butt? <laughs> yes. No, nope. from you, yeah. It felt like there was a butt. Cover. Sorry. Where you were about the to other out side of it. Somebody. Period, but there are certain person. cases yeah. where, yeah. Like yes. you had a famous person that you were going to do that That to. was going to out? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that said, you do but have Elton this John information about yeah. Ellen. Yes, but somebody well, who we already know is, about we're that blowing one. the lid off one. Yeah, Ellen Page. Okay. Whoa. Man, how'd she get pregnant then? <laughs> wow. Oh man, that's a different movie, huh? How many how many women have you worked with? Huh? How many uh women have you worked with? Are you, you know asking Engineer setting. Brett or are you asking me? I'm asking both of you. Or Are you, you asking can, Engineer you, Brett or me? You can I'm asking all We've of you. said for a very long yes. time, by the Why way. Why are there not any female that engineers? That Engineer Brett should have been a woman instead. Yes. Not like himself, but doing his job. No, yeah. not him. I don't care what is what he's working with plumbing wise. Uh but I but I do think that if we remember when the very handsome engineer Frank left, that was a big that opportunity was a real for Airwolf to hire a female engineer. That was a real Brett, can you speak to that as lead engineer? Did you have any say? I think I'm pretty handsome too. 
Ugh. compared to Frank. I know Please. that's well, a I joke. Mean, compared to Fr- Frank, I know that's a, a joke. beautiful person. Compared to Cody and Sam, sure. I put the call out for engineers, and I didn't get any. I would ha- I would happily hire a female engineer. But I just but mean like in your. This job. is part of a Brett. Brett brings up a larger point, which is that women don't want jobs. Yes, right. and isn't that actually something that's the truth? And so, well, my answer to that is: How are you supposed to give them a job? How are you supposed to give women a job when mm-hmm. they don't want jobs? Mm-hmm. What are you? You're is only, that a kind of slavery? You're basing it on one example of engineer Brett saying it was a he call. Get, he put out a call. He didn't ask one woman. He asked. He put out a call to every woman. They all could have, right? All the women. Is that what you did? How did you do it? Yeah. What did you? Well, do? you probably need to know. I Pro asked tools. Cody if he knew any friends. <laughs> Engineer Cody, the women in his life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So yeah, that's uh, that's the net that got cast. <laughs> well, then Sam, I interviewed Sam at Cat and Fiddle, like a year a year before we hired him. Mm-hmm. And Who's what that? happened to Beans? <laughs> Beans disappeared. He seriously disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. There was a guy named Beans at one point, Engineer mm-hmm. Beans. For one day. Yeah, disappeared. Who, oh, so but he's still in a lot of the Earwolf so you've had pictures. Several, he's like you've a had model in a lot of those male things. So I have to look at his disappear. face all the time. Yes. Yeah. And be replaced by more male engineers. And by the way, Aaron, just by the way, we had a female guest last week. I don't know if you are aware of this. And this week. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And this week. We have another one this week. Yes. You've had a lot of women on your show, actually. We're having, I think, another one next yes, week. We Fingers have it, crossed. Yes, we are hoping that it all works out. But we do have emails out to one for next week, and we intend Drew. to ask her a lot of the same questions. Do you, do so you, what anyone, about that? Does anyone? Are there any women writing on, on your shows? Uh, well, yes. What? There, Zoe and Sarah. But they count as one. They are one. They're a team. Two women that is equal to one. They're technically considered one man. And one of them was a guest on the show. So So that's Are they both white? Uh, Yes. Well, it's a mainstream show. Right, right. You can't have ethnics. I didn't say that. What what do you mean by they're both white then? Uh, Did I say... You asked. Yeah, oh, you right. asked if they were. And then you said it's a mainstream show. I was just explaining the show. Oh, okay. Sorry. You said, he are they both white? Yes. Listen. Yes, period. He doesn't want also, to say, like, it's an alternative. Sh- like, don't watch the show. Like, he wants people to watch. Yeah. Oh, I see. Are You asked, are they both white? I don't know why you care. I said, yeah, they are. Then, separately, I said, hey, it's a mainstream show. I only... Mm. I only ask because sometimes women get hired on shows because they're also ethnic. Hmm. It's a two birds situation. Mm, two for from Thirty Rock. And you, we love that show. And, and that's a women. And you think that's bad? You think that they should white women and women of color should be kept separate? Um, I'm just trying to. No, I'm not. We're just trying to get where to the, the line. Right, right, is. We're just trying to find yeah. it because we are admittedly a little confused. Because we it's want brave to be of us good. to say that we want to be good. Yeah, you guys are. You, I, I have to applaud you for even asking the questions. Absolutely, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you get a lot of credit in my book for that. Mm-hmm. And um, good job. Yeah. You should be proud of yourselves. Yeah. Um, well. I know, and I do feel proud of myself. You understand this could backfire. And I feel like just by asking the questions, I've pretty much done my part. Is that bad? No, that's that's actually good. 